Hey guys, Matt from SamRolling.com and today I wanted to show you Silly Pads. Um, kind of a silly name for a kind of useful uh, little thing potentially. Um, they sent me them for uh, basically their hide a mic, um, kind of tie mounts, shirt mounts, um, getting around to videos on them as well. Already done one on tie miking. Um, and essentially there are tiny little pads, surprisingly. Uh, so obviously well named. They're about 8mm by 8mm. So uh, it can be hard to see, white on white, but essentially they come in these little, uh, little rip-off pouches. And then what you're meant to be able to do is then stick them directly to stuff. Uh, you would ideally stick it on here and then and then peel it off, but I just kind of wanted to show you. So apart from using them on the uh, hider mic, I've also hidden a lab in my glasses. Um, maybe the first time you're kind of hearing about this, I don't know, it's kind of been around for a while. It's kind of similar to a place where you wouldn't think to look like uh, they do it in the pen trick. Also did a video on that as well, you can check out. Um, so yeah, let's just have a look at my glasses. So I did it with a COS 11 and it's right here. Um, and essentially what I did, take all this off, is I have it just running down the inside of the glasses. Very dirty glasses, actually. Always when I get super close. Uh, but essentially, I used the little sticky bit here, fed it along, put my glasses on, put the cable over and round, and then when I put my hat on, just made sure I took the cable more into into the center. Put my headphones on so I can double check what I'm actually hearing. Um, so obviously the really good thing about this is that I'm always on, right? So if I just did this with the boom mic or I'm slightly off, uh, it's really awkward. Oftentimes uh, you can get places where if you have the lab and you have to put it slightly over to one side, the person's then talking over here, they're off point. Um, so the great thing about this is you get a kind of consistent point. And this is, I've already done hiding in the hats as well. I do quite a lot of things on hiding labs recently. Um, and you, you basically always get uh, this same exact thing. So consistency in terms of dialogue editing is beautiful. Uh, very, very useful uh, for the edit overall. Um, obviously the downsides to this, depending on the costume, are you're eventually going to see the cable, uh, depending on what it is. You can cover stuff up with uh, flesh tape, something like an Ursa tape, um, or any kind of beige, yeah, kind of mole skin. Um, but yeah, apart from that, the downside is maybe just the setup time if you're not used to it. You could of course use any other kind of tape, uh, but again, depending on the type of glasses, you might have to use different uh, color tape to try and make it fit in. Uh, but I really like the Silly Pads just because they're, um, and it's really weird to keep saying that name, Silly Pads, but, um, but because it just sticks on very neatly, it's also see-through, um, it's kind of stretchy. It seems to be kind of staying in, staying in position. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a, an interesting little tip. So if you have anyone wearing shades, if you have ever, anyone um, yeah, just wearing glasses in general and you just want to be on point because they may uh, move around, um, then yeah, this is a good one for you. I guess another thing is you're not able to have that much wind protection on. In fact, you probably can't get away with any um, unless the glasses are massive. Um, so again, you do have to be careful. You couldn't really, you could use this outside on a still day, but again, you're risking uh, maybe a slight gust of wind just uh, completely destroying uh, that beautiful, beautiful dialogue. So let me know down below in the comments if you've ever used this and um, what your kind of success was with it. I don't think I've ever used this in the field. I use the hat quite a lot. Uh, you can actually, even with army uh, berets, you can actually, there's like a fold and you can kind of hide mics in there. Um, so do try and think a bit out the box, especially if the uniform or the kind of standard places aren't working for you. Um, but otherwise, here's a playlist of the rest of the things for hiding lav mics, um, done like loads of them. Um, and here's a kind of really good video that YouTube thinks is the next best one for you to watch. Uh, of course, you can always subscribe. More importantly, comment, share. Let's get the conversation rolling on uh, more places to hide and kind of demystify uh, this kind of place so you guys can get a better sound. So, until next time, see you later.